Hey, is this thing on? Hello, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited today, and y'all know when I'm this excited, it's probably because we are talking about fashion, and more specifically, fall fashion. Fall is finally upon us. I know I don't live somewhere where there's fall temperatures, but I am fully investing in the fall season and I am so so excited. So I wanted to share just some essentials from different categories for all of you for your fall wardrobe to help you get some inspiration. I feel like your outfits are just such a great expression of like who you are, what you want to portray, how you want to share yourself with the world and so it's so much fun to just be able to like display pieces of your personality and kind of like reinvent yourself for the fall season with these fun finds that I have to share with you all today and of course like mix and match it jazz it up I'm gonna show some examples over here of like how I would actually style the items throughout the video today but I hope you get some inspiration and you just have fun with like putting yourself together and trying to look your absolute best as you are living your best life becoming your best self and living your dream life ideally or at least working toward that you gotta look cute in the process so let's go ahead and get started with our fall fashion styling session. So first things first, I definitely think both these things should be on the list. They're not going to be in the pile because obviously I'm wearing them, but I think you need like a fun graphic tee for the fall. This one says in my pumpkin spice era, which I think is just so cute and on trend. Um, and I got it in a small because the way I wanted to wear it was like with a skirt or with leggings or pants, like a more tucked in fit or with a blazer possibly even as outerwear. So I went with a small for this option, but another thing that I was considering was going like large, extra large. And doing it fully oversized to do with like biker shorts or leggings with like some little ug minis and stuff like that so you have a ton of different options that you can do with your graphic tees this one is from pink lily and i'll make sure it's linked in the description box below it's in stock in all sizes and i absolutely love it also when you get it you'll see the material is really high quality like it's not giving basic cheap t-shirt it's really really great i have not washed it yet so i will report back after i wash it to make sure that it is good and and you can take it and wear it a lot of times throughout the season. And I just have it paired with a little mini skirt. This one is a plaid mini skirt. I have no idea where I got this from. Um, my fall stuff kind of stays in my closet a little bit longer because it's not super cool here. So I don't wear it as often. But I love a skirt like this, a plaid print, a lot of different colors. Again, something you can mix and match with a ton of different options. All right, let's get into it. We're starting off with tops. So a few different things I think that are really good to have for tops. Definitely you need to have a nice button down. So this is just a regular black one. It's a nice silky material and it has kind of like a cool detailing here on the sleeve. I got this one from H&M on clearance, but the great thing about a button down is you can wear it open. You can kind of have it closed, tucked in. You can do it with leggings, jeans, skirts, a ton of different options and it always looks really nice and chic and elevated and you can even put like a cute scarf on and tuck it in you have a ton of different options that you can do with that next up we've got my go-to you will see me in this so much during the fall so I like kind of like the mock turtleneck it fits really snug really well the material is nice and soft and it's a bodysuit a bodysuit will just tuck in and snatch you in like no other so it's absolutely perfect for layering and a ton of different outfit options in the fall season and then this one depending on where you live if you have a cooler fall or if you're like going into winter a chunky turtleneck sweater is so good I love to actually pair sweaters with like a satin dress I think that looks really nice with a knee like a to the knee boot um, this one is super thick so it's gonna keep you nice and warm but again you can also put like an oversized blazer or some type of outerwear on top of this so you can kind of have a few different options and of course if it's cooler you'll actually be able to stay warm now this one is a little bit more my speed for fall because I live in Houston Texas so it's like almost 100 degrees and it's already fall um, but what I love about this is the color so it's giving like that fall vibe energy with the color this like rusty orange and then like the mock neck again 
gives a bit more of a fall feel. It is a bodysuit again, which tucks and snatches you in nicely, and it's a nice textured material, which is just something fun and a little bit different. And you can also do this like over a long sleeve um, to kind of have a few different styles going on at one time. And then again, if it does get cooler, you can just pop something on over it. Now this, I haven't gotten to wear this one specifically quite yet, um, but I bought it in summer. I like to buy off season as well because I feel like you can get some really cute stuff for way cheaper. So this is Gianni Beanie, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So it's a, like a higher priced brand, but because I bought it out of season, I got it for a little bit cheaper. And again, it's a bodysuit, but what's so fun about it is like it has this boning on it. So it's something unique. So you need to have just like a long sleeve classic bodysuit in your wardrobe for the fall but again with just a little bit of a twist like the neckline is a little different than usual it has the boning so it kind of jazzes up your outfit without doing too much like a simple t-shirt and jeans essentially but you're elevating it just a bit and now we are on to the bottoms so I know I mentioned a lot of jeans I have one pair actually I have two pairs of jeans I'm not a jeans girl. Um, they're literally the same brand, um, just two different washes. So I do have a darker wash that I would pair with a ton of this stuff, but I'm not including a jean in the option today because I wanna show you something a little bit different. So first off, we're gonna go in with our basic OG, everyone needs a legging for the fall. So these leggings, again, they're suede. So something different elevates just a little bit and you can pair this with so much if you want to have like a more casual look these leggings will or any leggings that are kind of like a suede or maybe even a faux leather will look so good with like an oversized sweatshirt you can even do it with a t-shirt like this layer it with a blazer put on some boots with it if you want to dress it up the turtleneck looks nice as well or if you just want to go all black on black with the basic kind of high neck situation long sleeve with a legging and a boot you just can't go wrong it's a staple to have and you can wear it casual you can wear it a bit more dressy and it's always going to be comfortable during the fall season but still kind of fun and exciting popping tags i thought i cut them all off i've been doing a little bit of thrifting lately um so i actually got this on my last thrift trip um so this is oh there's another tag hold please all right, we're done. So this is a midi skirt. So this will go down like past my calves to almost my ankle. Again, this color, so stunning for the fall. I feel like it's kind of like an orangey golden vibe and the movement in this skirt is so, so pretty. Um, so again, pair it with any of the tops that we already went over. Mix and match, it will look good with so many different things. And I just love that it has like this really flowy feminine feel. And also I think this looks so nice with like a to the knee boot. That is a look that I will love forever. Next up, we have a tailored pant. So emphasis on tailored because I think that's really important to make sure that you have that nice structured look and you're probably gonna need to get them tailored because you wanna make sure that they fit you really, really well. So I actually, is there a tag pant too? I hear something. But I just recently picked these up from Alterations. I got these at Saks Outfit for an amazing deal. Um, but they have this wide leg trouser, which is so nice and really in for the season. But they're black, so again, they can go up to 10 different things. They only have this one kind of like faux pocket in the back, so they're not super bulky. Um, but because they're so wide leg, like obviously this looks a little large, but I got them tailored to fit my body. So the waist is nice and snatched in. And again, this looks so cute with so many different things. I have to figure out what is shaking in here oh it's this well I promise I tried to prep all these clothes beforehand but I missed a few things um and then lastly I also just got these back from the tailor I know it's a little weird like why are you tailoring a cargo pant um but fit is so important with basically everything and if there's items that are like staples you know you're gonna wear season after season go ahead and get them altered to fit your body really well so these are a basic black cargo. Again, anytime I'm getting something that has like a wider leg vibe, um, I like to get the waist tailored in. So I buy it big because I want that wide leg fit. And then I tailor the waist in to fit my size. 
cargos have just like taken over. But again, this they're not super squishy. They're not jean material because I've seen a lot of jean cargo material as well. Um, but just a nice basic cargo can go with so many different things. Moving on to my go-to category, y'all know I love a dress. I will do a dress at all times. So a few different staples for the fall season, starting off with a bodycon dress. So this is nice and fitted. I love to do like a t-shirt over this, um, pop it on with a blazer, put it on under a sweater. So many different options, but notice again, like kind of the color vibes that we're going with. So this is like pumpkin-y, terracotta, a light brown, tan. So it really, all of these things mix and match so well because they're all in like the same semi-neutral color families and you don't have to worry about like, does this go together? Because it's always gonna work out. And then next up, I love a good sweater dress. I actually got this one last fall season. It has like a little slit here on the side, which again is super cute with like an over the knee boot um, because it shows just like a little bit of the top side of your knee. I don't know how to explain that very well. Um, but it's like a nice look, a little pop of like a leg or if you wanted to do like a stocking to kind of add some type of dimension is always really cute. But again, high neck, long sleeve, classic. Let's do this with like a sneaker or a boot. So many different options. Also, I have like a chunky boot that I want to try it with this season just to kind of go with like a more casual or like hip kind of feel. And for the last thing in the dress category, we have like this little silk dress. This one is brown. I love brown clothes. I feel like they always look really nice on me. It has a little slit here in the front as well. So again, really good with a boot or different options. And then I like to take like a chunky sweater and put it over this. So it kind of looks like a skirt and a top, but really it's a dress and just like a sweater that's covering it to add just a different look and kind of not have to get so many different things. Like I don't need to get a black or like I don't need to get a brown midi skirt if I can kind of like put things on top of it and make it match as a skirt and a dress. So it works a lot of different ways. And finally, we're rounding out with outerwear. Y'all know I have to put a blazer in there, but this blazer, the difference is it's a heavier blazer. So again, fall season, temperatures are gonna be dropping. So you wanna make sure that you do have something that can keep you warm, but that's also still super cute. So this is like a brown, I want to say, yeah, it's black. Sometimes I'm like, is this black or navy? So it's like black, olive green, tan, and brown houndstooth look. Very like minimal houndstooth pattern. And I like an oversized blazer. So this one is a size medium, which is actually not usually what I get. If I'm going oversized, I'll usually go large. Um, but I got this from H&M, and I feel like they do run a little bit larger. Again, out of season, 13 bucks for this really great high quality blazer. Now with that, you also need a trench coat. So there's the classic kind of like tan color trench coat, but I decided to go with something a little bit more fun. So I've got this like houndstooth black and white plaid pattern, long trench coat and it's belted. This is lightweight, so again, really better for places that are a bit warmer. Um, this is a really good option, very easy to pop on. This is something I would like to like keep in the car. So like if it does get cool, I've got this available and it'll go with so many different options. Next up, more casual, we love a half zip with a Sherpa. So this one has like that swishy, swishy material and then also the Sherpa material. And I do white after Labor Day. I'm a winter white girl, in this case, a fall white girl. I think it's nice like I don't think you have to stop wearing white just because summer is over I think you just need to kind of change how you're wearing white and this is the way to do it again great casual look especially for like airport travel days pop this on with a legging and a little Ugg mini so cute Next up, we have a shacket, again, for places like here where I live, where you're like, I want to be involved in fall, but not too much, not too much, because it's hot. A shacket is a great option. This one is in a fun pink color, so I do like to stay like in the neutral family for fall especially, but I think adding a pop of color, especially when it's like a darker muted color, can be really nice. Um, this season, I'm looking into trying out like an olive green. I've already got some things like a deeper eggplant purple just bringing in a few different colors just to have some more fun add a pop of something different to your fall wardrobe but a jacket is always good to keep on hand and pairs well with again everything i've shown you today 
And next up, we've got a vest. I feel like vests are so underrated. I really like this one because it's not huge. Like, it's not extremely puffy. It's just a nice kind of smaller puff situation. But again, adding on this extra layer for warmth or to just switch up the fashion that you want to portray in your outfit for the day. And cozies. That's the thing about fall. Like, as much as I'd like to dress up in the fall, I also think it's really nice to have, like, some cute put together elevated cozy fits. So like with a suede legging, a oversized sweatshirt, I think is always really nice. Something basic on the front. Again, you can do sweatshirts with a blazer on top. Um, you can mix and match it with a bunch of different bottoms. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. A sweatshirt is not just a casual outfit, so you can kind of play around with that too. And then lastly, I love a good coat again, which is like a cardigan coat mix. So again, it's a lighter material, um, but this pattern is so pretty. I'm noticing a trend. I think I like like a houndstooth plaid look, um, especially for the fall, but I love this one. Um, I think it's so nice. I get compliments every time I wear it. I just got it last fall. Um, and kind of played around with it a few times in an outfit, but definitely going to be getting a lot of good use out of this one as well. Okay, lastly, we're going to round out with shoes. I'm going to show you kind of just like a few of the basic go-tos that you need to have kind of in your wardrobe so you can, again, mix and match. Like, it's all about mixing and matching. You don't need a ton of things. Like, I don't think this is a lot of items, and this could carry me through the entire fall season. Okay, so first, let's talk boots. We have these chunky boots, which are so cute and so fun. I got these at the end of fall, so I only got to wear them once. I'm really excited to pair some outfits with them this year. And then I have an over-the-knee boot, really classic black. You will see me in this fall and summer, um, not summer, fall and winter. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of this pair because there's something interesting going on with the heel when I walk like I can feel something is off so I'm looking for a new pair of like a basic black classic to the knee boot so if you have recommendations definitely drop them in the comments below and then another thing that I love is a sneaker honestly I like to do sneakers and dresses together like that's kind of my go-to aesthetic so I think you always need a really fun sneaker. I love the pattern and the different colors on this pair. And then of course, a good basic white sneaker. Again, these have been worn, honey. They're so comfortable. But either way, you have like a basic you can do or something fun to add to your outfit. And lastly, I got these Ugg mini dupes this year. So I have not worn them yet. Um, I wasn't sure if I liked that vibe. I used to be an Ugg boot girl. Like I had the ones that went like a little bit lower on the ankles, the one that went a little bit higher up. Um, but now I'm trying out the minis. I'm going to see how I like them. And I'm thinking, of course, I'll pair these with things like my leggings, with a sweatshirt, and just, again, travel days and stuff like that. I think this would be really cute for fun and casual wear. All right, that is it. We have rounded out our fall styling session. I hope you guys got some inspiration, found some things that you like or you want to try out. If I have links for the stuff that I shared today, I will definitely put it in the description box so you can shop them directly. If you have questions about sizing or anything, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to help you out as best I can. But happy fall. Let's have some fun. Enjoy our fashion. Be our best selves and just have a good time. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Affirmations with Amber.